Hi everyone, it's Chris here again from OBMC, bringing you a healthy dose of tips and tricks for your e-commerce enterprise. This afternoon, it's a hot day here in Sydney, and with the air cranked up to max, there's just enough of a cool breeze to record this video without passing out. I'm a really big advocate of content marketing. Done right, it can lead to some big results traffic-wise. If you've spent years cultivating a solid online presence with thousands of monthly subscribers to your blog, you may be considering expanding to product sales on there. Growing your blog from a once per week post type setup to selling a line of new products on there too is a big step. Selling products on your blog is a great way to monetize your passion while offering tangible value for your readers beyond the content you're creating. This could be physical products like wines and chocolates, digital downloads like templates and ebooks, or even the handmade products you started making as a side hustle. Whatever your business size, here are some key insights you may want to consider. Before you go, start with the basics. Choose the right e-commerce platform that complements your blog. WooCommerce, for instance, is going to be great for WordPress users or WordPress-based websites. Implementing a reliable payment processor to give your customers a smooth checkout experience is also pretty darn important. This could be Stripe, PayPal, WooCommerce payments, to name a few. If you're considering the Chinese market, check out Alipay, and it just so happens we have a plugin for WooCommerce for that. How awesome. So inventory management for physical products so you never have an oops out of stock moment, something kind of significant for dropshippers is also important. Accounting software to keep those numbers in check and to ensure you have the proper tax, proper VAT and other point of purchase issues covered. There's graphics and PDFs for shipping labels, receipts, and more, ensuring a consistent brand image. All really important stuff. Then there's analytics tools to gauge the pulse of your traffic and conversions, like Google Analytics, obviously, is one of the most popular ones. Finally, make sure your blog host can handle shifting away to e-commerce. It kind of needs a bit of an upgrade. So it's like GoDaddy, Bluehost, and HostGator will have some sort of digital switch to flip. You don't have too many steps to deal with when you start selling and integrating a shopping cart. So our tips for selling products on your blog look a little bit like this. Number one on the list is consider drop shipping. For those of you who want to sell physical products without the hassles of inventory and shipment, drop shipping is your best friend. You promote, you sell, someone else ships simple okay not necessarily that simple but that's the fundamental basics of it this is an incredibly easy way to shift from blog writing all the way to product promotion there's low overhead cost to get started and you can integrate in blog ads for your own products that work with your current and future content just make sure whatever wholesaler you use allows for customized labeling so you don't lose brand presence. Number two on our list is build your brand through social media. Your blog and social media should go hand in hand, echoing your brand voice and connecting with your target audience. It's one of the best ways to drive traffic and convert readers into customers. Don't try to be the next influencer with millions of followers. Stick to one or two platforms and be consistent people. Consistent can be once a week, once a fortnight, once a month, once a day. You're shooting for your first thousand followers and then you grow steadily afterward by being consistent. You can use platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest as some ways to build your blogging platform into an e-commerce small business. Or it might start a lot bigger than that, I don't know. How popular is your blog? Number three on the list is focus on niche audience and conversion rates. Know the pain point of your audience are you targeting small business owners or DIY craft enthusiasts? Tailor your products and content to resonate with your specific audience for higher conversion rates. 
You want your previous blog post to work naturally with this new business direction, okay? So remember, it is all about turning current readers into actionable purchases dollars. You want clear analytics on every page so you can see what works the best and give yourself the freedom to test out different conversion methods, okay? Number four on our list is keep all content relevant. Whether it's blog posts, product descriptions, or even the meta descriptions for search engines, every word should reinforce your brand and product value. You don't want to sacrifice SEO for your successful blog just because you found a great supplier of some random product. For example, if you have a winter snowboarding blog that features all the big mountains in the US, Make sure all the products you sell are well known in that niche and the content you produce when you make the changeover supports their features. Number five on our list is use tasteful call to actions everywhere. A call to action or a CTA isn't just a button, it's an invitation. Ensure they're sprinkled tastefully throughout your content, nudging readers closer to a purchase. You probably already have some experience with this if you have a newsletter sign up the point is to make it as straightforward as possible for your readers to make a purchase okay it may seem elementary but you want buy now or add to cart buttons and practical obvious places your customers will appreciate number five on our list is keep navigation clean and simple your readers shouldn't have to play hide and seek with your products Clutter-free, intuitive back navigation can drastically enhance user experience and therefore sales. Everything needs to be mobile responsive and follow a sales funnel that directs readers to take new action. That means if it doesn't work on a mobile phone, you've got a problem. Test this out with your friends, family and business partners. If they can't figure out where to navigate next, you probably need to hire a UI or UX expert or speak with a web design team to make a few subtle changes or it may be you need to make heaps of changes because it's crap how it is at the moment number seven use audience trusted processes people are wary of sharing financial details online using well-known payment processes not only offers them peace of mind but also boosts your blog's credibility not only does this foster trust with your new e-commerce brand but it reduces the chances of fraudulent purchases that can be a massive headache especially when you're making this transition. So the most common ones include Stripe, Amazon Pay, Two Checkout, WooCommerce Payments, Square, PayPal, Authorize.net, Apple Pay, and WePay. If you're brave enough and have some tech skills, you may also want to consider cryptocurrencies. These are a great way to expand your product offerings and payment processes for younger audiences. Number eight on our list is collect emails for more conversions. A pop-up here, a subscription box there. Make it easy and enticing for readers to subscribe. Maybe there's a little benefit to them, a little gift. It's a direct line to their inbox, right? A place where you can promote your own products or even share affiliate links. This should be a natural experience for your blog. Odds are you already have a newsletter sign up feature somewhere on your website. If you don't, you should have one. Now, you're going to use this email collection system to promote new products, offer coupon deals, and segment your audiences for future niche marketing. Number nine on our list is sell the experience or the brand, not the product. It's not just about the product. It's the entire brand experience you have already built through your blogging background. Stellar customer service ensures that the brand you've painstakingly built remains impeccable. Well, to conclude on all of this, turning your blog into a sales powerhouse doesn't happen overnight. It's a mix of strategy, quality content, and understanding your audience. You've already built an audience because of your hard work, okay? Now, the trick is learning how to convert those readers into purchases and grow your business. These tips will help you become an e-commerce success. Take your time, have fun, and don't be afraid to think outside the box. Well, that's all from me for this week. 
If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and su please subscribe to our channel. If you really, really hated this video, thumbs down, tell us why so that we can make better videos in the future. Please do subscribe to our channel. We're really encouraged by signups of subscribers. It tells us that what we're doing is working and that we should make more content, but also we're gonna invest more time and effort into content ongoing to make it more valuable and more entertaining for you. So uh, please stick around, please subscribe if you haven't. That's all from me for today. Thanks everyone.